even if it never made a dollar again. I'm blessed. Never stop, give a bop, so I pop in the flesh. Oh yes. Good hangover gang, welcome back. Make yourselves very, very at home. Today we are gonna to react to mirrors. Adam Calhoun, Masus, and Tom McDonald. Adam Calhoun and Masus have worked on a project together. They have completed it September 13th. They come out with Pale Horse. Feel free to go over to iTunes, Spotify, download that album when it comes out. Show your boys some support. These independent artists need your help. I've never heard of Masus before. All I know is his beard game is strong, and so is Adam Calhoun's. So what is more American than a strong beard game? That's why you got to go over to iTunes. Buy that album. Show your independent artist some love. Without further ado, let's get to the video. If any of you are new to the channel, feel free to check out my Hangover Gang playlist. Find all my Tom McDonald, Nova Rockefeller reactions there. Also, I have a separate playlist for Adam Calhoun. I have reacted to a few of his. Go ahead and check that playlist out as well. Let's see what we got here. 1.6 million views. I'm a little late. Four days ago. It's hard to get to these things right on time. You know what I mean? Not very easy. Let's get it. And I looked. And behold, a pale horse. And his name that sat upon him was death. And hell followed with him. That is the uh, uh, title of the album. So this is the opening track, if I'm not mistaken, to the Pale Horse album. So he's talking about Pale Horse riding in. The name was death and hell followed him. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression Dealing with some demons, they aggressive Looking at the gun on the dresser Got a question, will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself But I often sit and think Gotta shed a tear like a You don't want to do that, Adam Yeah, you gotta think about your daughter, right? How many kids does he have? He has a, he has a daughter, right? Hey, don't pull it Don't pull it But he's probably talking the, from the standpoint Before he went to uh, the penitentiary, right? I'm guessing Dealing with some demons, they are he's, he's just venting about what he lived through in the past. You ever get depression? Face goes blank, no expression. Dealing with some demons, they aggressive. Looking at the gun on the dresser, got a question. Will these thoughts stop if I press it? I don't really want to off myself, but I often sit and think. Gotta shed a tear like a drop from a faucet. Sink, need to talk to a shrink. Walk with a priest, wanna fight everybody. When I walk down the street, want a problem? 
fuck you, Your Honor. Never had a father, made me crazy, motherfucker. Came and swinging like Muhammad Ali. Hey, he said, he said, F you, Your Honor. Ooh, in the courtroom, imagine that. That'd probably add a couple years. <laughs> Quick walk with a priest, wanna fight everybody when I walk down the street, want a problem? Fuck you, Your Honor. Never had a father, made me crazy, motherfucker. Came and swinging like Muhammad Ali Frazier, born in 1980. Started rapping way before I ever heard it. Came in like Muhammad Ali Frazier? I can't remember Frazier's first name, but that, that's the last name there. So he's, he's two world-famous boxers all in one coming in hot. That's what he's saying. He's born in 1980. There was another song where he mentioned something about rapping way before he ever knew of Eminem. I can't I can't put my finger on what song it was. But I know he said something along those lines before. God, that's going to drive me nuts. Y'all let me know if you know. There's a song. I can't remember if it was a collab with Adam Calhoun or if it was just him on his own song. Golly. That's going to drive me nuts. But he's saying he didn't need Eminem to help boost him. Boost his uh, career or morale or anything or get him into rapping because he was already rapping. It just Eminem hit the spotlight before <laughs> the majority, but besides Vanilla Ice, of course. But Eminem hit the spotlight before the vast majority of white rappers. In 1980, started rapping way before I ever heard of Shady. I ain't even know a white dude's rap. Thought you had to be black for that. Had a Philly started jacket with the hat to match. I was rapping way before I heard of Aftermath. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but... Maybe someday I'll get my act together Made it through the bad weather Day was okay, but I had better I don't like to look in mirrors Cause I don't like looking at my face. I don't <laughs> Boy, 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 boy Yo, yo, this is going hard This is going hard This is like This is up your boy Shredder's Alley right here You got some of that 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 Lincoln Park or death metal vibes going on here. I don't like mirrors because I don't like to look at my face. Yo. Yo, that goes off. That goes hard, yo. Yo, 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 yo. Also, one thing at the end of the, his verse, he stated uh, uh, also a similar thing to uh, start rapping before I heard of uh, Shady. He also said... I did it before I heard of Aftermath. Aftermath is the the record label that Dr. Dre owns, right? Am I correct? But that's the label that Eminem falls under is Aftermath Records. Man. Which now Eminem has his own shady records, but when it all began, it was Aftermath. Bro, that, this hook goes off. I don't like to look in mirrors, cause I don't like looking at my face. I don't look at my face. I don't look at my face. Oh man, that's hard. Said something about a text make you look away, make your neck twist like an exorcist. This is a nice play on the whole spinning of the head thing. Okay. Waking up from nightmares, heart thumping God. Are you hearing my prayers? Cause I hear thunder. And I don't really like mirrors. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. The only one that I'm scared of is G-O-D. And the old me drunk a O-D. And I don't know if you aware, but I've been slowly numbing pain like an O-D. I'm coding. Battling my... Ooh, a lot of acronyms getting thrown out here. What are you saying? The only one I fear is uh, G-O-D. He said he drunk an OE, which is old English. And he said OD on codeine. 
Hey, 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 hey. Like my I like the wordplay. You got to bring the wordplay. You got to bring the bars. Your boy Shredder enjoys that the most. I'm in my prayer. Cause I hear thunder. I don't really like near. Someone stares back at me looking like my fear. The only one that I'm scared of is T.O.T. And the old me drunk a O.E. And I don't know if you aware, but I've been slowly. Now my pain like an O.D. I'm cold. Battling my demons like it's 106 in part. Medicating sins with some gin. Never healed the scar. Trying to end part. Part of my heart with my arm. But the dark feel like darts. And I don't know where I should start. Cause Bro, his flow is crazy. His flow is crazy. Phenomenal right now. Let me hear that. Ah, man, I'm trying to pick it up. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Oh, here's Tom. I'm mentally unstable, unable to get a grip. That my guardian angel probably thinks I'm a piece of shit. Got a mountain of problems and I've been standing on a cliff. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody I tripped. Can't admit it, but I'm sick. The prescription pills that I get, getting harder to... Ooh, he says guardian angel probably thinks he's a piece of shit. He's been standing on top of a cliff. Or he's been on... He's got problems all the way up on the mountain. He's standing on the edge of a cliff. Maybe he should fall off and tell people he tripped. Man. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody. Probably thinks I'm a piece of shit. Got a mountain of problems and I've been standing on a cliff. Thinking maybe I should jump and tell everybody I tripped. Can't admit it, but I'm sick. The prescription pills that I get. Getting harder to swallow and I don't feel like I'm fixed. I'm slipping further and further into the grip of a pit. I've been digging since I was nothing. A little six-year-old kid. Now I'm grown and I'm seeing ghosts of the men I used to. Yeah, he been digging a hole for, full of problems ever since he was six. Man. How do you <laughs> I can't even remember when I was six years old, honestly. Before I fell into this hole for the bones, I've been getting stoned and it helped me cope with everything beautifully. But I wish I would have known about the lows. I moved into the middle of nowhere. If I was you, wouldn't go there because I just want to be by myself. Nothing but some mountains and colder. I got my dogs and I don't. I like that little play there. Uh, you know, usually you tell people, I wouldn't go there if I was you because something bad is over there. You know what I mean? Or, or it's haunted or whatever. Don't don't go over there because that neighbor is crazy, whatever. But he's saying, just don't go there because I want to be left alone. I'm there. Leave me alone. I wish you wouldn't go there because I just want to be by myself. Nothing but some mountains and colder. I got my dogs and I don't care and I did everything by myself. I just want to be in nature, keep erasing my entire legacy of everything and being famous. I am not a celebrity. I'm a piece of paper that I scribble my thoughts on when they feel dangerous. Fuck you. I can see it clear. Used to want Hollywood. Now I want to disappear. Everywhere I go, people looking at me weird. Every time I see a mirror, I can't look at my face. I've been feeling crazy, but I've been acting like I got it all together. I've been down lately, but maybe someday I'll get my act together. Made it through the bad weather. It was okay, but I had better I don't like to look in mirrors Cause I don't like looking at my face. That shit go hard, man. That goes hard. Ever seen a military? Hey, man. That could not have been any better than it just was. I was not expecting that level of heat. That is a damn good way for Adam to start off his album. Get everybody's attention. Man, I really like when they kind of mix that uh, that metal vibe into the, the, the hook. That's what does it in for me. That gives it the replay value for me because I want to hear that part in my car. Crank the volume, roll the windows down, feel like a badass. Yeah, that's cool. That That is bomb. Song about their problems or their mental problems and the, the demons they battle inside their heads that they brought with them throughout their whole life. And the flows, everybody's flow is spectacular. Adam's voice on the hook. It's 
Can't do any better than that, ladies and gentlemen. Cannot do any better than that. Make sure you go over to Spotify and iTunes. Get that album. Give your independent artists some love. Very relatable song to anyone in the world. We, we all have those situations where we're di really disappointed with ourselves or disgusted with our actions or just things boiling up inside of us where it makes us just want to let it all out. And we don't like what we see in the mirror sometimes because it reminds us of our disappointment or whatever is getting at us. It reminds us of, like I said earlier, if you're new to the channel, check out my Hangover Gang playlist and my Adam Calhoun playlist. Catch up on any reactions. And if you still have not fixed your notifications, click on the link in the description box below. Fix your notifications. YouTube came out with an update. Turn your notifications off. So even if you have the uh, bell clicked, it still doesn't notify you because your settings are off. Please do that for me. That's all I got for today. Make sure you subscribe. Click the notification bell. Smash the like button. One love from your boy. It's Shredder. Peace. Get out of my house.